Alright, so... Travelog? He took the Jenny back from us, right? Yeah, he took him back from us. Sad face. Oh, um... Gonna set that on my, uh, active. It's too stingy to give up a Jenny. Well, I guess he did say he's kind of attached to his Jenny. What should we do? Catch it, of course. I like how he surrounded it like they're about to do something. Wait, wait. You don't need to do that. It's me, Flint. Your father seemed to look out, um, sent me to look out for you, J uh, Matthew. You'll need assistance from Jin if you hope to survive the trip to the mountain rock. Besides, none of you have been on Red Bench before, but I have. So I'm glad to help out. Now let's be on our way, friends. Yeah, I've got a message from your father, Matthew. Isaac says that while you're at Patrick's place, be sure to visit the Synergy Training Grounds. Then make your way to meet Craddon at Carver's camp. Isaac has already got word that Craddon is there waiting by the bridge for you. Would you like me to repeat that? No. Well then, off we go. Akarat! <laughs> Sounded like my daughter. Akarat! <laughs> That's how my daughter sounds when she's trying to talk. Flint, this spirit was Isaac's very first Jenny. Flint ta um, talks a great deal, but is both knowledgeable and nice, so no one complains. Except for me. I complain. Shut up. So she learns Bolt Growth Cure. I give it to him, he learns Growth but loses Flare. Alright, so I think when we get to Patch's place, that's when we'll call it quits for the day. Why is that dead yet? Actually, what level's Garrett? Not get Tyrell. Oh, he's level 4 too? Okay. Sweet. Yes, I called him Garrett. <laughs> la 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 la. Yo, that's a giant spear for a little bee. I see Tyrell slow too. Why you gotta be like that, Tyro? Why you gotta be slow? Hey, it's Vale's music! Did you know that the warriors of Vale live in a cabin near Mount Alf? They're just up the road, still looking out for the world. Don't forget to visit our Synergy Training Grounds. It's a must-see for new adepts. You can experience the epic journey the warriors of Vale as four theme park. Areas. Finally, I'm uh, finally Patrick's place. I'm always amazed by how many things Patrick packs in for um in here for sale. Uh, yeah, it's amazing. Now get me out of here. That's right. I forgot that Tyrell isn't welcome in Patrick's place. This young man is a fire that following in the footsteps of his father Garrett. Uh, reputation for being a troublemaker by crashing the soul ring. The event which is propelled to heal. Oh, so they put it back up there because the text changed from. 
Why are you still upbeat? We should be more careful bringing Tyrell in here. Don't blame me. I didn't want to come back here. Actually, I'm getting out of here before it's too late. You three over there. I'm Patcher. This is my place. What can I do for you? I don't remember this guy at all, by the way. Hey, you're... You're Isaac's kid, Matthew, right? Yep. Well, Isaac's kid is welcome here anytime. Weren't you and your dad just here yesterday? What brings you back so soon? Mm, not here with your father. Odd. Where could Isaac be? Hello again, Patcher. Now, where do I know you from? Is she traveling with you, Matthew? Yep. Really? Wait a minute. I remember you. Ah, uh, who you are? You're Karis, Ivan's daughter. That's right, Patrick. I've been visiting here on business for my father. Hmm. You sound like a smart kid, just like Isaac said. Uh oh. Hi. <laughs> Hi there, Patrick. You, Garrett, son. What are you doing in here? Come back to make more trouble? <laughs> trouble? Me? Here? That's ancient history. Ancient history? I remember it like it was yesterday. Your stupid son you nearly burned down my store. I want you out of here. And you others, finish your shopping and be on your way. So that's why we can't, um, so that's why he can't stand you, Tyrell. You nearly burned down the store? Wow. Is there any way you haven't made a mess of things, Tyrell? What I did here happened forever ago. I didn't mean to do it. The patch never forgets. The patch never ever forgets. Yelling isn't helping. We need to calm him down. Stop out of it, Tyro. Yo, she just said, I'm done with your shenanigans and just shoved him right to the floor. Ouch, oh, that hurt. I hope that did hurt, Tyro. It's pretty stupid losing your temper like that. You might have scorched this whole place. Uh, I'm sorry, but we adepts aren't supposed to use our powers in public when we're just starting out. It's our responsibility as adepts to make sure we never hurt people. Our fathers are concerned about how people view synergy. People must see it as helpful, not hurtful. Why is he still on the ground? Burn your own reputation if you must, but have a um, have a care for how that would impact Garrett. Okay, fine. What did he say? I can't hear him. I said I heard you, so just drop it. You're going to hold it. Um, you're going to hold it in check, Tyrell. No synergy in front of strangers anymore. Okay. Now you're just starting to nag. Typical. Just typical. Oh, come on. Don't get insulted now. Okay, no synergy in front of strangers. Now, can we please just drop it? Consider it dropped. But we do have a problem. I doubt Patrick will give us any helpful information now. What do you think? Um, we should do, Matthew. We should stay in high spirits. Maybe Patrick would see Tyrell in a new light if we did that. You guys really are looking out for me. I'm not sure I deserve such good friends. Now nah, we just want to continue on this journey. We can't do that if you're always getting in the way. Oh, Tyrell, you know we like you just the way you are. He'll come around. I actually don't like him the way he is. I wish he would change. Be a little less like his father? That is, if you keep your fireballs under control. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Well then, leader, lead on. Uh, am I staying in the inn? Might have been a little out of line when I lost my temper. Sorry, Matthew and Karis. Of course, you're always welcome to shop here. Let me walk you through the different kinds of goods and services I'll provide. 
Okay, starting from this. Oh my god. Do I, I'm not gonna read this chat. It's the end. You restore your HP and your synergy there, okay? This one is the shield sign is the armor shop. You buy your armor there. The sword sign is the weapon shop. You buy your weapons there. The one that looks like an herb, that's the herb shop. Or the item shop. You buy your items and your healing stuff and your the googly goods there. Now, at any kind of store, you can also sometimes find rare or one-of-a-kind things in the artifact section. And if you sell or throw away any such rare weapons, armor, or items, you can always buy them back later on. That's the tour. He should really hire somebody else to stand at the other counters in his store so he doesn't keep running back and forth because that seems kind of annoying. Alright? Is it or is that just me? I don't know when it feels that looks annoying. Sorry. I clicked out of it for a second. Oh. Alright, uh let's check weapons first, then we'll check gear. I forgot you can use swords too. Let me see something real quick. So that's eight. Oh, but the bow is stronger. We'll give her the bow instead. Much stronger. Oh, it's 300. How much is it? How much is selling a wooden stick? It only sells for 30. That wouldn't be enough. Dang. Okay, now I can sell it. Now we buy the bow for her. Uh, but this also means we can't buy armor. I'm Paul. She's basically Ivan 2.0. But with a bow now. And that makes her infinitely better. You want a quest given to you by Isaac and Garrett? Wow, they're hard to act to follow, aren't they? I bet you're going to Carver's camp. You have to cross the Goma uh, Highlands to get there. Can you use energy? Yep. You should be able to get there, um, through it. Uh, it used to be lowlands until the Golden Sun shook things up. The men of Carver's camp have tried to tame this wild area, but you'll still need energy to pass through. I just realized, she doesn't have mind read. Oh, look, a Jenny. How do I get that guy? I appreciate that they actually gave each individual Jenny different designs, right? Hey, look at me. Can you make it up? You'll need to know how to make it through trading. Ugh. Alright. I think we do this on the next stream. I am quite tired. I do need to get to sleep because we have an early start tomorrow. I have to, have to take my baby, my daughter to the doctors. Um, so she can get, uh, she has some shots and stuff she need to take. Um, and then just the standard checkup. The normal stuff. 
Um, so that is going to be where we call it tonight. And everybody, welcome on back in. Happy Friday to y'all. I hope you guys are enjoying your week. That's far. I hope you guys had a great week. Um, it wasn't too rough for y'all. Uh, back with some more Golden Sun, Dark Dawn. Um, we have quite a bit to get through. Um, in a short amount of time to get through it. And so we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. Um, and by short amount of time, we got about we have about four hours or whatnot before I need to actually leave the stream for the day. Of course, tomorrow I'm thinking we will be doing. Um, I think I've decided on doing. Uh, the uh. I think we're going to do Pokemon tomorrow instead. We'll do Pokemon and Stardew. Um, the new Pokemon competitive season has started for online. Um, so I'm thinking we'll do that tomorrow. Um, show off, uh, showcase us some of the uh, the Pokemon we've been training. Cousin, how's it going? How's it going? How's that going for you? Are you at work or are you at home today? Sit back and relax myself. Um, we were able to make it back home with decent timing, uh, which is why I'm streaming now um, instead of later. Um, for those of you who are curious um, why I didn't start streaming earlier today, uh, because today we had to take my daughter to for her doctor appointments. Um, her sixth, I believe, it was 16 month checkup. You're off all weekend. Nice. So yeah, um, she had a checkup today. Um, she's doing well. Um, she's almost 20 pounds. She's really close to 20 pounds um, now, the baby. Um, and she's apparently really tall for her age. Um, she got her couple of shots today, including her flu shot. Um, and I believe now she's upstairs napping. So while she's napping, I'm streaming. Because this means the wife can get a bit of a break without having to watch her the entirety of the time. Alright, we got Forge! The Spirit of Fire Strengthening Aspect is encountered at Patrick's place. Forge, Forge's Blazing Flame stirs allies to greater ferocity in battle. Um, so you guys may not have noticed this before. But, uh, they have... Given each They have given each Jenny in this game their own unique design. Um it used to be that every Jenny looked exactly the same in the first two games, but uh in this game in particular, they gave each one their own unique designs. Which I think is awesome. So what do you got planned for this weekend then, since you're off all weekend? While following in the histor historic footsteps of Warriors of Bell, will you take the challenge? We're ready. Time to begin. New Warriors of Bell, live the legend. Oh, it's timed. Sorry for all the sniffling. I just have a... Uh, got the sniffles because of my allergies right now. Okay. I don't remember the Warriors of Bell doing this. I do remember this part. Um, so we gotta climb to the top of the tree now. The battle against Tret. Well, I was supposed to go to a basketball game in New, uh, NC, like North Carolina, which is why I was off, but people got sick, so now 
I'm not gonna going and have the weekend off. I've watched Jurassic Park so far and slept in until eight. <laughs> there you go. Not like sleeping in. Ah, I tried to get there in time. Alright, the battle against Satros. North Kakalaki. Is she up, honey? Dang, I thought she was gonna sleep much longer than that. Looks like the baby got up. She took a short nap. My headphones are still broken, so I gotta be careful how I move them around. I can't take them off too often, otherwise it'll get worse, and I need them to survive at least until uh, Sunday. And Sarah might look like some sort of wacky attraction, but it's no walk in the park. We need to solve its puzzles in order to reach the Venus Lighthouse. This lighthouse provided the Earth energy that combined with the other three elements to power the force of alchemy. This tower is in Gondolan, um, and was one of the four that were lit to trigger the Golden Sun event. Go! Alright, let me double check this. I'm gonna go this way. Okay, so I need to spin this. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to spin this one too. No. Um, so if I go that way, it goes over, around. Alright, so we want to leave that the way it is. Oh, it's the fight against the Kraken. Oh no, we want to hit it. There we go. We're done. Now we just get into the minecart and be on our way. Easy puzzles be easy. Wee! Give me a uh, PTSD about old Donkey Kong country. No! What? Really? I accidentally pushed the wrong button and ended up back inside the uh, the cart. Oh my god. I need to put fireball as my quick option since that seems to be the one we're using the most. Right? Now we beat the Kraken that was on the boat. What's up, Shane? How's it going? You were just in time to watch us destroy the Kraken in record speed. Now we're about to go and destroy Satros and Minority in record speed too. Or Satoros, what are you gonna call him? That Sancho's face is pretty accurate, though. How's the Friday going? It's going good. We just got back in from the, uh, the doctor's visit for the baby. Um, I had some lunch, so I think it's been about half an hour since we got in. Had some lunch, and now, uh, we're streaming. Ooh, chewy. Yep, it went great. She's, she's normal. <laughs> 
She's a normal healthy baby. Or I should say normal healthy toddler. Um, doctor did say we need to get creative about uh, how we give her her vegetables because she's she's reached that phase where she knows what a vegetable looks and tastes like and so she picks it out. The release of power from the first two lighthouses radically altered the landscape for the warriors. So your greatest hardship will be finding some kind of safe path to the Jupiter lighthouse. This lighthouse provided wind energy that combined with the other three elements of power to force of um to the force elementals elements to power the force of alchemy. This tower is now in western Gondawan, um Gondawan's Ateca region, and was one of the four that were lit to trigger the golden sun of it. Beep, 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 boop. Hope all is going well for you today. You know, now I need to use whirlwinds. I think that's supposed to be Kabombo. The second I thought I'd step too far. Uh, okay. Man, these things move so slow. Alright, so this is Poseidon. Darn, I thought I could make it. I had to blow my nose again. I can't wait till this allergy medicine kicks in and I'm not... Feeling like this no more, at least. I should've did left, then... I should've did right, then left, then up. Mistakes were made. Keep forgetting I don't need to be facing towards it to get it to move. Yeah, right now we're finding the three pieces of the trident. I probably didn't need to jump off. Um, I probably shouldn't have jumped off there either. Oh, I hate myself. This would be so bad if they actually moved. Alright, that should do it. You found all the trading pieces? Now we have to defeat, uh, defeat Poseidon. But yeah, I hope everything's going well for you today. I know you're off today. So hopefully you find something that, uh, to, that'll be fun for you to do today. Or if you just want to relax and rest, that's, that's something fun you could do as well. I feel like this particular part takes longer than necessary. You haven't been gaming much lately? Mostly just hanging out on Twitch? Not wrong with that. To hit them all. I thought you just only had to hit the face. Mm -hmm. 
I will say this is an interesting build. Alright, Carson Agito. That took forever. It took so long that I've been waiting this entire time to blow my nose. <laughs> I didn't want you guys to have to hear all that nose blowing and stuff all in the camera or in the microphone. So I had to step away for you. All right. The warriors crossed harsh extremes to reach the first three lighthouses, but the fourth was the harshest of all. You must slog through the snow and ice to get to the Mars lighthouse. And then you must slay a dragon. But this is the second, maybe third dragon we would have slayed. This ice house provided the fire energy that combined with the other three elements to power the fourth factory. This tower is now in the lands north of Angara. It was one of the four that were lit to trigger the golden sun event. Am I casting fire? So it's just casting fireballs this entire time, huh? Yo, that dragon do look do be looking menacing though. Why do you even do that? Now we can cross that dragon. Every time I remove Whirlwind from the board, it shows back up some way somehow. Um, okay. Oh, the last one doesn't move. I'm sitting there waiting for the last fire to go up so that I can uh, walk into it. Because this isn't dangerous, you know, forcing people to walk through fire. No, that's not dangerous at all. The short one, dig it. There we go. We got it. We got it. This is definitely an interesting concept on the take of what happened with our parents. God darn it. Alright, so, first is Akito, and, uh, Karst, but then we're technically in dragon form, so. Yeah. 
Oh wait, we actually have to fight this statue. It's called the Dim Dragon. We're like the dumb dragon. Oh, we went there. What? Regular attack and forge. Do do. Wow, she used her bow once and now she already matched it using double shot. This seems safe. Summon Mars. Blink. So retain that double shot mastery, so if you switch to another bow that adds it, you automatically, you automatically have it. Okay. I, something I forgot about this game in terms of whether or not they keep their, uh, the mastery of their weapons. It's good to know. Venus! Yo, this sword looks way too big for uh, Matthew, by the way. The scary jinx. Yeah, these weapons look way too big for Garrett and uh, Matthew. Though Matthew's holding, uh, Garrett's holding his better. Okay, secure. Bop, bop. In the one or two, I usually trade weapons like hand me downs, but in this game, it's a bit more effective to let people hold on to weapons for a long time. That's true. At least until they master. Oh, this dude's got more HP than I thought. There we go. I like how it broke apart. <laughs> Tyra mashed this bong sword spin strike. Level five. Starburst. Is there like a settings where you can check and see what skills a weapon may have? Huh. Do they have the same items in these chests? Inventory or status? Alright, I'll take a look then. I'm curious, which one has what item and which one would be better to get? I'm always partial to right, but... Eeny meeny miny mo catch it. I forgot how that song actually goes. Alright, I guess that was right then. Oh, so either one, they both have gate cards. You need that to pass through the gate to the Compa Ruins. So yeah, I, okay, so either way you were you're gonna end up with the gate card. Gotcha. Message speech fast.
this weapon longsword? Interesting. Maybe I go to the item then. It says, hit select for details. Oh, I don't have a select though. Oh, okay, I see it at the top. Uh, critical strike and spin strike. There it goes. Am I using a ginless um, by any chance? At the moment, no. I'm sure once I get further down the line with more gin, I will probably swap um, and start using, you know, different ginnies and, like, spread them out. <laughs> Alright, so for her, it's just double shot. Um, it doesn't look like... So he's mastered his, but Matthew has not mastered his yet. There's a few that if you miss them the first time, you can't get them, which is irritating. You talking about Jin? 